Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK and Sim Airport. It's just turned day 20. This is a massive day. We have got the most schedule full schedule that we could possibly have. Three gates now. This will be the first day we have three gates. And in order to get our third gate, we implemented this very interesting approach. Um, now, we haven't really expanded ticketing. We've added two more desks. We've had to put security area in here in order to make this viable. We're hoping this is going to go well. We've got 200, well, just shy of $200,000 in the bank. And uh, we're either going to be firefighting a lot or we're going to be really pulling in the cash. Now, first two flights should be gates one and two. Flight three, here we go, here we go. Now, there's no seating or anything down here. It could be disastrous. Um, I mean, these people look fidgety and anxious. But I just want to see how well this works. We've got the added concern of only having one runway. We do have enough money to put a second runway in, of course, which would alleviate any potential concerns around that. But I don't want to spend all of our available cash on a second runway and then discover that security isn't up to the task or whatever. It seems like a good idea to me because there are going to be a lot of people coming through here now. That seems to be working quite nicely. Baggage claim is just a joke. We do need to build a proper baggage claim. We do need to build baggage handling. But look at this. Gate 3. 110, 120, 130, 146. That's pretty good. I'd say that's working. And uh, yeah, we've made 40,000 uh, already. And it's only 8 o'clock, not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. 50,000, 60,000. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're making maybe 30, 40,000 dollars for every couple of hours all right so i am going to do something for these guys i think or shall i do something for baggage first let's do something for baggage first i think we're okay i think we've got enough staff to make this work well enough but uh we do want to expand this area so that we can better serve our customers so i'm going to build baggage claim and uh, it means i'm going to have to put another door in so for a moment nobody's going to be able to get in that was probably a bit daft can i put a door in now not yet okay all right well speed up then and tell me when i can put the door in oh see i've blocked everybody Oh, nuts. Bad, 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 bad. Right, that door can go in and uh, we want to very quickly clear this stupid wall. Sorry, guys. I apologise to everybody who has been affected by this. Please help yourself to free coffee from the coffee bar, which we have yet to build. Okay, everything's flowing again. <laughs> Drop-offs is manic. Oh my gosh. Okay, everything's back to normal. We had a bit of disruption there. Some people missed their flights as a result of that poor bit of decision-making. Totally my fault. 100% my fault. Um, I take full responsibility for that. But it's done, so, you know, get over it. Um, now, I'm going to start building these rooms here. They are going to benefit us. But my goodness me they're expensive
People seem to be missing their flights. I think it's to do with ticketing. All right, let's slow it down. Ticketing here is becoming a problem. I mean, you can see it's massively, massively uh, over, over sort of um, overstretched there. So baggage claim, I'm going to move into this area here. Like so. Uh, then I'm going to remove this area as being baggage claim. Now this might break the people who are there already getting baggage claim, but that's just tough. And then uh, we're going to have to extend ticketing so that we can cope a bit better. All the way up to there, in fact. It's going to be tough. Ticketing kiosks. Uh, let's pop a couple here. Let's make all this ticketing as well. That's a good idea. Uh, let's make this ticketing. Whole area can be ticketing. And then uh, the sooner we get people through ticketing, the faster everything else will be. Uh, we should already have some staff, maybe not full staff, but certainly some staff to help us cope with the extra demands. Now, I appreciate that's a bit messy what I've built there. But it's just a needs must situation at the moment. What's the problem with ticketing here? Ah, oh, we need a ticketing desk in there. Must have at least one ticketing desk in this ticketing area. No problem, says I. Done. Okay. Is that now working? Obviously, our builders are quite busy building this room down here. It looks like we don't have enough staff. Oh no, those ticket desks have not been built yet. Hurry up, please, chaps. Really need you to get over here and start building this ticketing desk. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Ticketing desks galore. Now, that should speed things up quite considerably. And it looks like we have three staff members required. One, two, three. Done. Okay, so, I mean, that was a bit of a baptism of fire, and that's okay, because in reality, we just literally just slammed as much crap in as many places as we could in order to boost revenue without having to spend too much money, which is cheeky, beyond belief. But uh, it seems to have worked mostly. And uh, that's a good thing. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some food things. Like so, we're going to get some benches. Like so. Um, and we're going to get some drinks. Like so. Okay. So now that means that the people this side actually have some stuff available to them. And uh, we're going to turn this into a toilet area. So that they can actually go to the toilet. Which I'm sure they will appreciate as well. Now in order to do this, because... Uh, Eventually, this is going to be just a male or female toilet, but for the short term, 
Uh, we're going to split it down the middle and it's going to be both. So, urinal, here come the passengers. Here come the passengers. How are we doing for money? 129,000. We spent quite a bit of cash just just doing this. I mean, this is the cheap way of doing it. Uh, but yeah, we've we've spent a lot of money. Let's see, let's see if things run a bit smoother today. I mean, I'm acutely aware, of course, that um, you can only use a toilet in this airport if you've actually passed through security, which isn't great at all. Um, far from great, in fact. Okay, there we go. And this zone is going to be a male restroom. And this one will be a female restroom. But at least these guys have somewhere to go. Because they haven't had anywhere to go before now, which is just ridiculous, really. Right, how are we doing in terms of ticketing? That seems to be working a bit better. I mean, we have a phenomenal number of people coming through at the moment. If you say on average... Um, 200 per flight, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen flights coming through, um, with with an average of two hundred people on each aircraft. Um, you're looking at what three and a half thousand people, or three thousand people, three thousand, three and a half thousand, something like that. A lot of people. Um, and we haven't really catered for half of them. So I think that's running incredibly well considering what we've actually built. Uh, oh, I was going to turn this into a toilet as well, wasn't I? So that people outside of the airport, outside of security, had somewhere to go. So let's continue doing that. Looks like financially we're okay. Back up to 200,000 there. This game, incidentally, is guaranteed to run at uh, 60 FPS for two thousand. Yeah, for two and a half thousand. Um, two and a half thousand passengers, which we have now exceeded. So uh, we might begin to experience some lagginess. Passenger satisfaction is very high, which is good. A bit of a surprise, considering how we're treating people, but you know, maybe we're actually doing a pretty darn good job. And annoyingly, I've built that right where there is a ticketing desk. So we're going to have to dismantle this and this, which I think is okay, because I think we have enough stuff going on already. Oh, right. Uh, let's put these into zones. So, female restroom. And a male restroom. Is that done? What's the issue here? Oh, good. There we go. Right, now, finally. Slowly but surely, this airport is coming together. Um, 300,000 this is while spending rapidly as well. Uh, so that's good. And we're actually building some of our uh, foundations for future development as well, which is wonderful. Maybe this entrance area should be my main focus now. I'm not sure. Maybe I should finish off this section. But uh, definitely, in order to just add another gate, it's just a case of expanding, copying the same model. Uh, putting the gate in and away we go and we've got plenty of money to do that maybe now's the time for a second runway let's have a look here ah i've just realized how we upgrade this is the stuff i've been looking for for ages let's 
let's just let's just read that second upgrade uh, instrument landing system allows larger airliners to conduct a precision instrument approach this means fewer weather delays and a lower risk of weather related incidents it will also help you attract the big boy airlines okay that's cool i think that's something that's coming in the future so it's not really an issue now Run runway Pappy Precision Approach Path Indicator provides a visual indicator to pilots of their approach angle, resulting in increased safety. Now I should have done this like immediately from the beginning. Now I'd say we need one at either end, but apparently well, you can do it at either end. Okay, we'll do that then. I have no qualms with that. Safety first and all that stuff. Uh, so let's go for a second runway, I think. It's time. It is definitely time. That'll take a lot of pressure off of... Um, off of the single runway that we have. Not that we have any issues, because I don't think it's been implemented in the game yet. But certainly... Uh, that's that's I mean that's a massive step forward having two runways that is huge the fact that I've gone for two runways before I've gone for baggage handling is a bit of a, a mystery to me so <laughs> God only knows what you're thinking anyway let's is that 100% or not make your minds up 100% 100% 100%. upgrade Runway lights. Job done. What's the issue here? Requires runway. Oh, yeah, it's just being built. Just relax, okay? It's being built. Groovy. Now what's the problem? There we go. Perfect. So that's done. Uh, upgrade. Let's do the pappy. God, that's 7,000 every time I do this. Didn't realise that. It's the problem. When you start earning so much money, you stop looking at it. It, it doesn't... You know, 7,000 is just 7,000. You don't even think twice about whether or not you have enough cash or not. It doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, we're, we're super busy now. Ridiculously busy now. I think it's a fair time to uh, fix this toilet issue over here. Let's go right ahead and do that. Now it's already secured, permanently secured, the whole way round. There shouldn't be any issue with, uh, with security. Take that wall down. Take that wall down. It looks like it's taken the foundation down. It did. Look at that. How annoying. Has that broken security? Yes, it has. Of course it has. You absolute pillocks. You're all fired. Every single one of you idiots are fired. Now, is that going to fix itself? I don't think it is. Which means no flights are coming in. That's going to cost us so much money in fines. Ah, time to save it and come back in, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to call that a day there because that's frustrated me a tad. But um, yeah, I mean, look, the money's here now. It's all about building out. Start chucking your ideas at me. I'm interested to hear them. Let's start implementing them. Um, I want to get this baggage handling sorted. I know you've been screaming at me to get it done, so that's probably next on the priority. Or maybe just finish off this bit of this building here and then do that. So in the next episode, we'll get this all running sweetly. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.